All right, we revisit Once in a Lifetime. The Rock versus John Cena. Now who are you? Now who are you playing as this time? Now we are in not West Newbury, Massachusetts, but close enough. Beautiful East Rutherford. <laughs> that will never not be funny to me. So we will be paying, playing as the quote-unquote hometown hero, John Cena. Isn't he from Boston? Yes. So, uh, The Rock beats CM Punk at the Royal Rumble. And so okay. comes back with a new title. The uh, Brahma Bull emblem title, which is the one that's used today. Okay. As opposed to John, not, not the John Machine, John Cena spinner belt? Right. Yeah, I can't believe that lasted that long. Uh, here's John in the bright yellow. Never give up. I actually prefer the inverse color screen. The navy with the yellow lettering works, I think, better than the yellow with the navy lettering. And here comes the champ, the rock. And so there, there is the redesigned WWE title. Okay. And I like it better. It's pretty cool. Nice and shiny. Uh, how much do you think those cost to make? I don't know. That's a good As question. Conjecture, because the replica titles are four to five hundred dollars. I'm gonna look this up actually. Because I know the million dollar championship. Um what well, cost twenty five thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. And it it was supposedly made entirely with diamonds, which would have cost a shitload. They're all fake diamonds, but um there's a single real diamond in the back. Okay. I don't know how much it costs. Nowhere does it say. Damn it. Oh, well, fun fact, the belt was designed by uh, the people on the show, American Shoppers. Yeah. Really? Okay. And the belt is encrusted with diamonds. I don't know if they're real, or if it's just diamond dust or what. Okay, so I see your uh, your first objective is escape the sharpshooter. So first you have to be in the sharpshooter. Yeah, shooter. which is, uh, you know, super optimistic of John Cena to be like, I'm going to be in the sharpshooter, so I'm going to have to escape it. <laughs> then to hit the five knuckle shuffle, two AAs, two attitude adjustments or FUs. I've never understood that name though, attitude adjustment. Like, do you, is picking somebody up and then slamming them going to be like, oh, I feel, I feel like uh, you're a more reasonable person now? <clears throat> Well, it, it makes more sense than a lot of finishing names, finishing move names. Um, I mean, we just we just saw a match with a guy whose move was the F five. That's true. I like when I think of CM Punk and the knee to the head, calling it the go to sleep. That makes sense to me. Um, yeah, rock bottom doesn't really make sense. I guess the gorilla press kind of makes sense. 
And and then some of them are just like super straightforward, like the big boot. It's just a boot. Yeah. Leg drop. Okay. And so here's Cena's wow. comeback sequence. Shoulder blocks. Spin out. Power bomb. Now that's like no, that's a that's a type of a special thing that some of the faces have. Right, right the though. comeback. Uh the comeback mechanic yeah. lets them engage uh in what the uh IWC calls the five moves of doom. So it's it's their usually ending sequence. They do a couple moves to set up their finishers and signature moves. And when you complete the uh the comeback then you automatically get a signature move. All right, so now I have to get uh, adrenaline up for a couple AAs. Someone back there had a sign that said, I dig something I chicks. dig crazy chicks. Oh, okay. I don't think they changed the signs for all the, the matches. So that's a CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, uh, maybe Kane, maybe John Cena uh, sign. Um, they all had this angle with AJ Lee, who was, uh, the up and coming crazy stalker diva, you know, like, uh, okay. Mickey James was to Trish Stratus. Oh yeah. Okay. Except she wasn't doing a lesbian stalker thing. She was just being like, I'm crazy and I'm into all of you. And then fun story. She marries CM Punk and they lived happily ever after. What, in real life? Yeah, they're, they're, they're married in real life. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's that, uh, chi. All the chi must be in that fist. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the, the rich, it's the, the, the ritual shuffling is what empowers it. <laughs> Using all five knuckles. To shuffle. Exactly. All right. Your hand becomes so powerful that all the that that you get you actually gain an extra finger to provide that fifth knuckle. <laughs> That's true. It wouldn't really make sense. It's, Cause... it's kind of gross, actually. <laughs> um. Yeah. Falling punches was um. That was um Ted DiBiase's thing, wasn't it? Cause his, his cause his um his submission hold was the million dollar dream, the sleeper hold. Yeah, exactly. But I think like his signature move was where he'd set them up where they're on the ground, and then he'd just fall with his fist extended onto their face, and he'd do that a bunch of times. I don't, re I don't remember. That sounds like a kind of a. It sounds like a million dollar man kind of thing to yeah. do. I mean, it just sounds like kind of a, like such a dick move. Oh, no. Yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't know. Speaking, <laughs> Speaking of dick moves. Yeah, I'm doing this. This is fun to me, John. Losing. Having everybody witness my failure. Uh, you know what's hilarious? Like, when I, I'm not looking at the match and I'm looking at the crowd... I'm seeing all the people who are ha who are wearing the same shirt and rising in unison. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got like oh. I know that's a lot of people to render, so they're gonna like cheat, but you could cheat a little better than that. Alright, so still have to get put into the sharps shooter. Hit him with a nu five knuckle shuffle, two AAs. Strap in, strap in, folks, because we have like 20 more minutes of this. Yeah, Nick. It, I assume that these matches they get more difficult as you go advance to yeah. the mode, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know what? Fair, fair play, this match did end in a way similar to how this match ends. So, towards the end of this main event, uh, they're going back and forth, trying to hit each other with their finishers. 
you know, and it becomes clear, like, whoever hits the finisher first is going to win. And they're just reversing each other, which is a really, it's it's very fun. And if it's done right by two entertaining guys, and The Rock and John Cena are pretty entertaining, uh, it makes for an exciting match. It's just we saw this match before. Last year, actually. So there's me and the sharpshooter again. Well, John Cena, but you know what I mean. And it's pretty strategic. Um, at that point in the match, I'm going to eat this rock bottom, and I'm going to have to kick out here. I think I lost again. Oh, God damn it. Lesnar's knife tattoo was here, he would be furious with you right now. It would be. It's a good thing I don't have a knife tattoo. <laughs> uh. Are you much... Like, would you get a tattoo? Nah, no. I'm not interested. I don't have a tattoo. I'm planning on getting a tattoo. I'm gonna get one uh, on my side. It says, uh, Lux got... Is it a knife? Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be on a knife. Uh, that says Lux got nothing to do with it. Just remember, just you got, just don't let it control you, Nick. Yes. It'll... I was actually hoping like to be one of those tattoo-based superheroes, just reach <laughs> into my skin and pull the knife out. Well, like tattoo assassins. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> like tattoo the... assassins. <laughs> that classic of the fighting wins game our, genre. Wins our full LP of tattoo assassins. It's co the, the game too brutal for Evo. <laughs> too brutal for Evo. Oh God! There's me eating a rock bottom. Once, once you get the knife tattoo, it's like it's like the Satsi no Hado. It's constantly battling to take over your mind. <laughs> oh God! All right, now, so. Once again, objective, hit the five knuckle shuffle. And then two AAs. Right now I'm just trying to get the pace back. And so I think I need to use the comeback at this point. And, I, and again, like, I make fun of the design of this game, but this match actually feels really good because a lot of it feels very consistent. Uh, after you get put in and escape the sharpshooter, you have to eat the rock bottom. There's not really a way to get out of it unless you're really good at countering. But luckily, if when you get uh, kick out, you'll have the comeback, which lets you get the uh, the signature to do the five knuckle shuffle and then the AA. And so this match, if if any of them, I think is pretty good. Not not all the matches were super well designed, but I think this one was. Oh yeah, there was the ref getting in the way again. Set him up for an AA. Yeah. Ow. Man, he sells like death. Yeah, being dropped flat on your back would Ow. hurt. I can't imagine it. That would suck. Uh, I think he's gonna go for a superplex. No, super arm drag. Roll up. Okay, so I never did it because if I missed um, doing the roll up, uh, then I would definitely get pinned. But if you get to the yellow part and that bar there, then you'll reverse a roll up and roll them up. I never did it because I think I kind of suck. And clearly I <laughs> do kind of suck. Yeah, I have to avoid. Oh, nope, no, nope, I did not. I did not avoid that rock bottom.
And so there I just use my resiliency, which means that this is definitely not the match I win. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> Uh, so, you, uh, yeah, you know CM Punk's going to uh, go into the MMA? Yeah, you mentioned that. He's to an abdominal stretch. Um, he got signed by Dana White. And Again? Yes. What do you want from me, John? Competence! <laughs> I did the match. I did this for you. I come out here and bust my ass <laughs> for all you people. I'm, you're, I'm, I'm, I'm turning heel, Nick. Your, your failures have. It, it, it's, it's like when that evil hillbilly cult tried to turn John Cena heel. Oh yes, embrace the hate. Wait, why is someone holding a rock? The Rock has hung "Come Home" sign in New Jersey. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I want an explanation for this game. I the game's not going to give you an explanation, Sean. The game's values are pretty much is Rock in match? If yes, the Rock has come home. <laughs> Maybe that person in the audience is just like really confused. <laughs> this is in Florida. No wonder I haven't gotten any mail. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you will never... Like, I can't imagine somebody being paid to hold a sign that says, I heart WWE. Yeah, that's pretty light. Like, I imagine... And, I'm like, if you're at the match, wouldn't people... Couldn't you just assume? I mean... Yeah, yeah you'd think so, <laughs> like... If you like wrestling enough to go to a live event... If you like wrestling enough to go to WrestleMania... Yeah. Can, like, can you imagine somebody who hates, like, football going to the Super Bowl? <laughs> like, they'd just be the worst. Like, why are you here? So he's put me in the clutch, but I somehow got a rope break. I think with my feet. And now powerbomb. Fun fact, when John Cena was known as the prototype John Cena... He called that the spin-out proto-bomb, even though it made no sense. Now I'm coming, I mentioned, like, John Cena is proto-man. <laughs> so who... I, I can't, I can't, I can't whistle, so I can't do the proto-man whistling. So who song. would, um, who would Mega Man be? Who's Mega Man, yeah, who would Mega Man be in this scenario? Would it be The Rock? Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> and... Weirdly, since Rock rose to fame as the corporate champion, I guess Vince McMahon would be Dr. Light. <laughs> then who's, uh, who's Dr. Quietly? Bischoff? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> what the hell? Eric Bischoff is Dr. Wiley. So, I, uh, I worked at... And... And that and that one-eyed creature that like you know like disassembles itself and flies across the room is Vince yeah. Russo. <laughs> Vince Russo. <laughs> I, I work at um, WSU's Creamery, so I worked at the uh, Creamery for Washington State University, and um, I took orders for people all over the U.S. for people who ordered our cheese. And, um, a nice older lady from the Bischoff family called, ordering cheese for all the Bischoffs in, uh, the Ohio area. And she, they, they did, they did oh. have a son named Eric. No, no, not a son. They had a relative named Eric. I asked if it was her son. But, um... But I like I didn't have the courage to ask her if he was the Eric Bischoff. Also, those calls were being recorded, so if if I started asking her pro wrestling stuff, I'm pretty sure I could have gotten <laughs> your supervisor would probably okay. We got in trouble at least. 
Stop bothering. Stop bothering the customers about pro wrestling. Nope. Just a everyone who calls whose last name is that of a wrestling figure, you just grill them on all their relatives. Oh, I see your last name is Cena. Any any family in Massachusetts? No. I don't even think he lives there. So here's John Cena getting frustrated. What does he have to do to put The Rock away? Probably wear a belt. So now both The Rock and John Cena have unlimited finishers. Really? Yes. So the limiter the limiters yeah. are off. And so right now we're in a reversing match. Oh, and I just ate a rock bottom, which means I'm pretty sure I just lost. Oh. Oh no, I saved a, re a resiliency. I learned. Hey! And so I, res I, re I managed to reverse this one. And the rock re reversed that. I reverse his rock bottom attempt. And I think I finally got him. Alright! Yeah. Oh! Go immediately for the pin. And there we go. Is it? Yes! I believe that's it. Yeah. And Nick's Nick's knife tattoo is appeased <laughs> for now. The hunger is satiated. Picks up and hugs that sweaty title. Yeah. Right. And thus ends uh, 30 years of WrestleMania. Oh, here comes the video package. Oh, is there a little final... Yeah, there's uh, a little video vignette. Outro? Alright. How do I... I think we were... I think we were talking about... No, here we go. Here's the video. <laughs> to what... Okay. So there's Edge... Now, it has been a really long time, uh, I think, I want to say that we recorded this entire Let's Play over the course of six months, not that it took six months to beat this game, but, uh, the recording session stretched that Yeah, long. it's, it's been stretched, it's been stretched, it's been, yeah, it's been in segments, it's been stretched out quite but, a bit. But, um, overall, the, the, uh, 30 years of WrestleMania mode has been pretty cool. Uh, there have been some great moments and great match recreations. Uh, Razor Ramon versus Shawn Michaels at Mania 10 was awesome. Um, I think it was X7 with the Fatal 4-Way with uh, Triple H, The Rock, Mick Foley, and The Big Show. Yeah. That was cool. Big Show, yes. And then this last one, that was pretty cool. Like A, a, a lot of these matches were really fun. And uh, the moments were pretty cool, but, you know, it's just, the game is only held back by its technical issues that all these WWE games seem to have. Um, you know, one day it probably won't be filled with bugs, but until then it's going to be really hard to continue to recommend these games. Oh man, I'm so sad we didn't get to see uh, the Miz push his stupid, awesome inflatable balloons. <laughs> Those are the worst. Well, if, if I hope you uh, if enjoyed this, folks. We're this is not going to be the end of uh, wrestling games here at Pointless Side Quest by any means. We've got we've definitely got more planned. It's the end of 30 years of WrestleMania, but it is by far. Uh, it is far from the end of wrestling for point of side quest. Yes. We're... And maybe someday we'll we'll finally actually be able to begin that PG era. <laughs> the PG but... era for us or the PG era for For us. <laughs> That's not gonna happen anytime soon. But not too fucking likely, no. <laughs>